the cost of a taxi ride is $1.25 for the first mile and $0.85 cents for each additional mile or part thereof. Find the maximum distance we can ride if we have $31. Let's first define the variable m. Let's let m equal the number of miles driven. Now let's work on an expression for the total cost of the taxi ride. The first mile has a cost of $1.25, which gives us 1.25, and then each additional mile has the cost of 85 cents per mile. Because the first mile has a different cost, the number of miles driven at a cost of 85 cents per mile is going to be m minus one, which gives us 1.25 plus 0.85, 45 cents, times the quantity m minus one. Again, we're subtracting one here because the first mile has a different cost, a cost of $1.25, and the remaining miles have a cost of 85 cents per mile. For example, if the ride is 10 miles, the first mile has a cost of $1.25, the remaining nine miles, given by the expression m minus one or 10 minus one, has a cost of 85 cents per mile. And because we have a total of $31 to spend, the total cost must be less than or equal to 31. And now to answer the question, we need to solve the inequality for m. For the first step, we will clear the parentheses by distributing, which gives us 1.25 plus 0.85 times m is 0.85m. Then we have 0.85 times negative one, which gives us minus 0.85. And this must be less than or equal to 31. And now we combine like terms. We have two constant terms on the left. 1.25 minus 0.85 is equal to 0.40, or just 0.4, which gives us 0.4 plus 0.85m is less than or equal to 31. The next step, we isolate the m term by subtracting 0.4 on both sides. Simplifying. 0.4 minus 0.4 is zero, which is why we subtracted 0.4 on both sides. We now have 0.85m is less than or equal to 31 minus 0.4, which is 30.6. The last step to solve for m is to divide both sides by 0.85. Simplifying on the left, 0 0.85 divided by itself simplifies to one. One times m is m. We have m is less than or equal to 30.6 divided by 0 0.85, which is equal to 36. So now we know m, the number of miles driven, must be less than or equal to 36. And because we're asked to find the maximum distance we can ride if we have $31, we now know the maximum distance is 36 miles. I hope you found this helpful.